Swanny and Rush drinks. Ian Rush? Yeah, and he said if I didn't drink lots of milk, when I grow up, I'm going to be good enough to play for Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley? Who are they? Exactly. Now, nah, get off. Now, I do have um, an intro that I wanted to do about today, but since I'm here, I'm actually so excited. I'm at Accrington Stanley, another new club, a new English club as well for me that I've never been to before. I'll be seeing them play Shrewsbury today in English League One, and um, I'm actually so buzzing. This is actually so nice. It's way nicer than I expected. There's some work going on around the other side of the stadium, but you've got the Wham Stadium there. There's a little beer tent there. There is the club shop just there, and a little memorial garden here. I'm obviously going to show you a montage pre-match of this entire area but it is so so nice but Accrington Stanley are a club hitting new heights in the last few years they are now in League One and they've never been as high as League One before in their entire history except for in the past few years they were a part of the non-leagues like the Northwest Counties League and the Northern Premier Division a little bit like Marine where I have been recently if you've seen my Marine video that is the stature of this club of what they were like throughout the majority of their history until the last couple of years and they got promoted to the Football League around I think 2006 mid 2000s from the conference League 2 where they were for years and years and years until just I think 2018-19 um, where they got promoted to League 1 which is where they are now and their legendary gaffer has been here in two spells the first spell I think was here for like 13 years and he's currently one of the longest serving managers in the Football League as well this current spell he's been here like seven years or something and he's uh, like I said taking the club to new heights and what a great club they are hope you enjoy a few of these shots and I'll see you a little bit later on and uh, yeah we'll be watching Accrington Stanley against Shrewsbury Do you come to Accrington Stanley quite a lot? Yeah, yeah we go home and away. Home and away. And how do you think they'll do this season in the league? Good. Good. And where do you think they'll finish? I would go to the You reckon you'll get promoted for the championship? And I'm just leaving the sort of little entertainment area where they're selling beers and stuff and it's so nice I'm with a couple of mates today and I'm not driving so I can actually have a beer for once um, so yeah really nice little area to have a beer but look as you can see they are really doing some work here to the stadium the Wham Stadium it is called here at Accrington Stanley and um, they've had a really good start to the season Accrington uh, and they are up the uh, top of the league ish area they're doing very very well but Shrewsbury who they're playing aren't doing so well and are towards the bottom but I'll put the league table uh, on screen and yeah you can see for yourself sort of where the two teams are so I'm expecting Accrington to win they've had a good start to the season but yeah we'll see how they get on And if you look at Accrington on a map, it is right in between Blackburn and Burnley. Two big towns um, with obviously massive football teams, Blackburn Rovers and Burnley. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier, Accrington have been a non-league club for the majority of their history, um, but now are, of course, a league club since the uh, mid-2000s. But um, yeah, the strange name, Accrington Stanley, there was a team in Accrington who folded, I believe, but then there was another team in the area called Stanley Villa, I believe. That I think that's right, Stanley Villa. And so um, when the Accrington team folded, the Stanley Villa team took the name Accrington and kind of became the team of the town. And um, yeah, to this day, they are now called Accrington Stanley. And something that they are quite famous for is um, the advert that I played right at the start of this video. And I will play it again now. Yeah, and he said, if I didn't drink lots of milk, when I grow up, I'm going to be good enough to play for Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley? Who are they? Exactly. John Coleman, the uh, legendary manager here, also came up with this quote. A bit physically sick, to be honest. I'm, I'm rapidly falling out of love with football. I just wonder what's the point anymore, you know. Every week he gets stiffed by an, uh, an horrendous decision. So yeah, maybe you've heard of Accrington Stanley due to these two things. The famous quote from John Coleman, where he said he was rapidly falling out of love with football um, after a terrible decision had gone against him. Um, which, to be fair, I think we've all felt over the past couple of years with VAR and weird decisions and stuff like that, and how the game is going in general. Um, with Super League as well, and all those kind of things. But um, yeah, and of course the older Accrington Stanley, who are they? Of course made famous uh, back in the day for that milk advert, and then again by Soccer AM 
Um, and that's where I know it from was from Soccer AM. But yeah, you do realise it's from the Milk advert as well. But yeah, an amazing club, Accrington, and buzzing, absolutely buzzing that I'm finally here to watch them play. And speaking of watching them play, look, you can see on screen right now, I'm literally on my phone and that should be on screen right now, that um, yeah, when you are near a match on Footballogy, today's sponsor, again, first two links in the description box below, they've been good enough to sponsor my videos. So please, please download the app and start using it. Um, it is actually so good. Look, when you're near a ground and you bring up the Footballogy app, it says it knows where you are and wants to add this game. It's like it knows I'm in the area, so it knows I'm coming to watch Accrington. So you push, push, press yes, you just press yes, and there it's um, it's got me going to the Accrington game. But yeah, look at all these guys. Look, it says recent activity on there. To all the people who have added me as a friend on Footballogy, thank you so much. Um, yeah, if you uh, download the app, or maybe you already have the app, you can add me as a friend. Sam North is my name on there. You can find me. And look, all these people. Look at Sandy Brown, the games that he's been to, um, and Adam Bowyer as well. Like fair play to all these people, all the games that they're going to. Ross Lee was at Ibrox the other day, um, as were a few other people for the uh, for the Old Firm Derby as well. So yeah, absolutely buzzing that so many of you not only use the app, but now also are friends with me on the app as well. So yeah, please do download Footballogy. They are such a legendary app, and um, they're run by great guys as well. And if you could download the app and start using it, I'd really, really appreciate it. Anyway, let's see if we can chat to a few more fans. Should be a good game. I've heard they've uh, got a good atmosphere here usually. It's normally quite good here, yeah. Yeah, good. fair enough. And they've had a good start to the season at Crinton. Do you think they'll win today? They'll win 2-1 today. What should the atmosphere be like today? I've never come here before. Oh, it should be booming, mate. It should be yeah? booming. I've heard Stanley fans are pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, well, I'll definitely. Yeah? yeah definitely, yeah. And um, you've never been as high as League One before, no, never, over the past never. couple of years. How's it been as a fan? Obviously, you were in the non-leagues for a long time, then League Two, and now League One. Yeah, where we are, it's massive, massive. Like, you look where we come from, from the bottom, you know? Yeah. Like, when we got promoted from League Two, it was massive for the yeah. town, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And now, look at us, we're playing. And obviously, the gaffer, John Coleman, what do you all think about him here? Quality, he's the king, king of Accrington. He's the king of Accrington. King of Accrington. And you're doing work to the stadium as well, which shows how much the club are progressing. So how do you think the club will do this season? Uh, I push for playoffs, you know, if we, if we fight hard and we keep players fit. Yeah. You know, if everyone works hard, you know. And score for today? 2-1 Stanley. Legend, mate. Stanley. Lovely to meet you. Nice All the best, man. Good luck. I'm with someone who has scored against Accrington Stanley before um, for a local team in Accrington. And you're here for your first ever game, is that yeah. right? And so you, are you an Accrington Stanley fan yourself? Stanley fans because I used to live in Accrington and teach in Accrington yeah. many, many moons ago. And you've scored against them and as I've well. And I've scored against them as well. And we're here watching them today in League One against Shrewsbury. Yeah. What do you think the score will be today? There you go, some Shrewsbury fans. Come a long way today. What do you we're think gonna, We're going to win because they're on a roll. Yeah. They play good football and why wouldn't they beat somebody? It's amazing how far this yeah. club has come in the past few years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you think the score will be today? We'll, we'll go for a 3-1. And yourself? Yeah, I'll go for 2-0. Yeah, look, Accrington were actually one of the first clubs, or one of the founding members of the Football League, along with, look, Accrington Villa, Blackburn, Bolton, Burnley, Derby, Everton, Notts County, Preston, North End, Stoke, West Brom, and Wolves. And um, yeah, that Accrington were eventually wound up, and that is when I was telling you earlier about this Accrington were wound up, and then the team called Stanley Villa took the name Accrington, and that's why we have Accrington Stanley today. But yeah, Accrington were officially for founding members of the uh, the first football league so yeah unbelievable what a cool club and look at this
think it's going to be a corner. from Atkinson so far. 1-0 to the home team. The great atmosphere in here as well. See you in the second half.